IBM Spectrum Protect Snapshot for VMware version 413 and later comes with the sound volume controller, dynamic target allocation adapter. In this video, we'll look at how you can configure dynamic target allocation in the GUI configuration wizard. First, we will look at a Spectrum Protect Snapshot for VMware backup scenario before and after the introduction of dynamic target allocation. ADNA is a Windows and VMware administrator for our organization. Todd is the IT manager for the organization, and Aaron is the storage administrator with responsibility for sound volume controller. Todd needs a full backup of all the data stores in the vSphere environment for disaster recovery purposes. He sends a request to ADNA. Todd wants the data stores and associated virtual machines to be backed up as soon as possible. Before ADNA can start a backup operation, she must ensure that the necessary target volumes are created on the storage system. ADNA contacts Aaron and requests the provisioning of target volumes on SAN Volume Controller. Aaron has a large backlog of high priority work and it will be a full day before she can process ADNA's request. This is inconvenient for ADNA, who cannot proceed until Aaron has completed her tasks. The introduction of dynamic target allocation improves ADNA's experience and streamlines the whole process. ADNA can configure Spectrum Protect Snapshot for VMware to use the SAM Volume Controller Dynamic Target Allocation Adapter. There is no requirement to involve the storage administrator or to manually configure the storage system. The following demonstration describes how to configure Dynamic Target Allocation in Spectrum Protect Snapshot for VMware. ADNA logs into IBM Spectrum Protect Snapshot for VMware and clicks Configuration. In the Configuration window, ADNA clicks Run FCM Configuration Wizard and the Configuration Wizard is started. On the Configuration Wizard welcome page, ADNA clicks Next and steps through the wizard. For demonstration purposes, we are going to skip to the Storage Systems page where ADNA will create a new device class. Each device class configures Spectrum Protect Snapshot for use with a particular storage device. ADNA clicks Create and this opens the Add New Device Class window. She names the new device class SVC DTA and then clicks device type. This displays the list of device types or storage system options. There are two sound volume controller options available, static target allocation and dynamic target allocation. ADNA selects sound volume controller dynamic target allocation from the list. When using dynamic target allocation, Spectrum Protect Snapshot authenticates to the storage system through Secure Shell or SSH key files. ADNA enters the host name of this SAN Volume Controller storage system, and in the Username field, she enters her SAN Volume Controller username. ADNA's private SSH key file has the name svc underscore SSH key and is stored in the default location on the vStorage backup server. Therefore, in the SSH key file field, ADNA uses the default file path. ADNA clicks Save and SVC DTA device class is added to the list on the storage systems page. ADNA clicks Next and moves to the Summary page of the Configuration Wizard. 
She reviews the summary page and clicks finish. This saves the configuration and the profile settings are refreshed. The new SVCDTA device class is now available for ADNA to use for the backup that was requested by Todd. On the Getting Started page, ADNA clicks Define a Backup Task and the Create Schedule Wizard is started. ADNA clicks Next and steps through the wizard. On the Destination Settings page, ADNA selects SVCDTA as the device class to use. She completes the Create Schedule Wizard and selects Execute Immediately. The backup process is run and snapshot backups of the VMware data stores are copied over to SAN Volume Controller. In conclusion, backing up data to SAN Volume Controller has become a whole lot easier. By using dynamic target allocation, you can streamline the backup process and there is less administration. For more videos on Spectrum Protect Snapshot for VMware and other IBM Spectrum Storage videos, please visit the IBM Spectrum Storage Software channel on YouTube.